No. Have you heard of, has anyone heard of that? Mm -mm. I haven't, but I think Christmas my husband cream. would like that term. Mm -hmm. He was already mad that he saw or heard Christmas music. It's just too early for him. <laughs> yeah. We've been debating like, this I, also. He likes it after Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's, yeah, same. I'll take it. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah. With him. We're, we're, we're all kind of on the same page about that, even though, yeah. like, the occasional song, you know, might yeah. kind of perk you up a little bit. Here and there, here and um, there. But when it's 80 degrees outside, no. it can be a little oh, tough. Yeah. It, pumpkin spice is hard at that point. <laughs> right. Um, right. But we, we do have a very cool thing going on tonight. You know, got going into Election Day, maybe uh -huh. you'll be up early. There is a total lunar eclipse on the way, okay. and Chrissy Kohler has a little more on that. Tuesday morning, we've got a nice treat in the sky for all you sky watchers as we've got a total lunar eclipse on the way for us into the early hours of your Tuesday morning. So you may want to set that alarm clock to get up a little bit on the earlier side. Now this total lunar eclipse is called the beaver moon. Uh, it's called the beaver moon because this is the time of year where the beavers start to hunker down for the winter. It's also beginning to be called the blood moon because of the red hue that we're going to see during the totality of the eclipse. The sun is or the moon, excuse me, is going to set in the west northwest sky, but it will be moving throughout the sky throughout the evening and it actually sets at 703. So before the total lunar eclipse is over, the good news is you don't need any special equipment to check out this incredible phenomena in the sky. So the beaver blood moon eclipse begins at about 3 a.m. and that's when the eclipse starts to happen. Once we get a little bit further into those morning hours closer to about 515, that's when we start to see the total eclipse really begin. So that's when we're going to start to see that red hue to the moon and we get a nice little chunk of time before maximum eclipse, which is right around 6 a.m. So you don't need to set your alarm all the way for 3 a.m. If you're just looking for the main part of the show here, the total eclipse ends at about 642. And again, the moon sets at 703. So after total eclipse ends, but before the entire eclipse is completely over and you're going to want to check this one out because the next time we have a lunar eclipse isn't going to be until 2025. So we've got about another two to two and a half years before we're going to see another one of these grace our night skies. And the good news is we've got a fantastic looking forecast for you to check this out on Tuesday morning. We've got nice clear skies across the area. Temperatures are going to be comfortably cool out there in the 50s into the mountains. We're talking upper 50s, low 60s across the upstate. So grab an extra layer, set those alarms a little early for Tuesday morning and head on out and check out this fantastic sight in the sky.